today, boys and girls, I was gonna show you how you can practice counting money when we're at home. So I went and found some money in a jar that we keep on our counter when I find it around the house. And all you'd have to do is just dump some out. And I have put it on a piece of white paper to show you better. And if you have a hard time skip counting, you can always sort it by the kind of money you have. So you can find all your pennies. And you can look for any nickels you might have, quarters, and dimes. Let's get them all sorted out here. You guys can do as much or as little as you want. A lot more than I thought I had. There we go. And that's how you can start counting to see how much you have. So we sorted pennies nickels, dimes, and quarters. So I'm gonna kind of move them as we go. And for me, I think when we're starting out in first grade, remember it's easier to just make groups to 100. So we can maybe start with quarters. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. So now we have three dollars. Now let's count some dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a dollar. There's another dollar. And then we can count the rest. So I just like to start with the big money, the biggest amount, which would be 10. So 10 plus five more. So 10, 15, 20, 25, plus one more, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we have one, two, three, four dollars and 34 cents. So you can keep playing that over and over again. You can do it with a brother or sister and put out a different amount if you want. Or you can just practice counting the dimes or the quarters. So have fun with that today.